Find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my new show. I'm Nitsan. Uh, in this first episode, we're going to talk about uh, my tripod that I use. It's highly recommended by me, by um, I think uh, Cheesy Cam recommended it, and a few other people. The company goes by a few names. They go by E Image and uh, Wi Feng, and I forgot the other one. But it comes in a really nice case. If you look on eBay, uh, just type in 717 tripod. This is what you'll find. Um, and it is really nice and rugged, and it is really sturdy. Um, and I've, I got this a few months ago, and I haven't thought about another tripod since, because this basically has taken care of my tripod needs. I'm not going to bring it up any higher than this, but it does go fairly high. The drag on it is uh, okay. It's not perfect. Um, the drag control here is basically none. So you've got this drag control and then locked drag control. Uh, and if you tighten it up a lot, then it's kind of semi-locked. Um, but there's not really, it's either, here there's not really much choice for drag control. Um, but for panning, there is. Um, and you can tighten that up and that will give you a nice drag. It's not perfect if you're zoomed in at like 200 millimeter. The one thing I really love about this um, is the fact that it has the longest arm that I've ever seen on a tripod uh, without, I think some really expensive ones have arms like this. Um, is this called an arm? I don't know. Leave me a comment below and tell me what this is called. Now these, uh, these knobs for, for the feet, they are really nice because they reach the end position and then you know it's locked. It's not one of those knobs where you kind of continue tightening it and you're not really sure how much you should tighten it and whether you're going to break it. Uh, it just stops at the right point and it's locked. The head of this tripod sits in a bowl so you can adjust uh, and straighten out your camera without playing about with the legs which is really nice uh, and it's got a little level here. Uh, it's actually really tiny and it's not really that easy to see but it's useful. The quick release plate on this is quite nice. Uh, it comes with both um, a quarter inch and a three eighths inch. Uh, so it'll fit any camera or whatever you want to mount to it. You've got this little clip to make sure that it doesn't, once it's on, it doesn't come off. And that's very useful, but it's annoying um, because you need both hands to do everything. You kind of have to hold it and do that and then undo the other side. It's a decent size and it's not too much of a hassle to carry, especially with the, with the bag that comes with it, which is quite comfortable. And that's pretty much my conclusion for this review of this tripod. It's really nice. Uh, it's highly recommended. Um, and for the price, I don't think there's anything better. All right, guys. So thanks for watching my first episode. There's going to be a lot more stuff about DIY. There's going to be a lot more stuff about doing affordable filmmaking. The next episode, uh, we're going to show you how to do uh, a DIY turntable so you can do really nice uh, spinning product shots or whatever your use for it is. So subscribe because it's going to be a cool video every day. And thanks for watching.